this is Connie with Clicky Chick Creates, and I'm sharing my uh, plan with me video for next week. This is um, how my last week wrapped up. It's now Sunday, and I want to get this coming week in order. So, move some of my goodies that I already have outlined of things I need to take care of next week, and I just want to start getting to the pretty stuff. So, um, again, as I mentioned last week, if you caught last week's video, I'm trying to use up some of my older stamps um, to just make things pretty. So this is a really old stamp set, and I'm just going to use that little dotted piece right there, which I think is super cute. And I'm just going to put that around the days of the week. I'm not going to do it around Saturday, Sunday, because I'm going to do the same banner idea over there. But for this piece here, and as far as colors for the week, I'm going to use pinks and purples. These might be a little bit on the pale side, so I have another set that I might use. I'm going to try these first. It's my baby's sixth birthday this week on Wednesday. so. I'm going to test this out on another piece, on a piece of uh, scratch paper. I'm actually just going to use the back of my notes. Oh yeah, that's super faint. Um, I'm going to switch it up and go with this palette. Let me stamp that off. I'm going to go with this brighter pink and just um, basically tap it around so you can see how I'm staying just in that one color palette and not going into the rainbow mix and just see how that looks oh yeah I like that lots lots more all right and I'm just going to alternate going around the different the two different dates I apologize, my head's probably going to get in the shot. Yeah, and I smudge that up a little bit. I'm okay with it. All right, let's do Friday. All right, so yeah, I need to go a little bit lower on the day itself. And let me grab a tissue, or a wipey, I mean, actually. I'll take off that pink. Let's strip that off again. And I'm gonna alternate with purple. Those are my soon-to-be six-year-old's favorite colors. So I'm doing this week's color scheme around her favorites. I'm actually going to move this again closer to the edge like I did last week so that I don't bump up against the, um, so I can keep away from the coil. Perfect. All right, so I like the way that looks. And then I'm going to use, like I said, the same colors. And I'm going to do my weekend um, little flags. And those are from the... Those are from the uh, Heidi Swap stamp set. The weekend is seven letters. I'm gonna look back to last week's order where I started. Apologize if you can hear my family in the background. We got a much later start on, uh, or I got a much later start on this video than I planned, um, but we went and bought new couches today. So it was with, with good reason and I'm very excited to get our new furniture in a few, in I think about 10 days it'll be coming. So I'm super excited. All right, so I'm gonna do this purple on this one. And on the other side. And then back to the pink. And then finish off with purple. All 
All right. I think that looks darling. Let me clean these off. And I'm going to actually do some more banner decorating around there, but I'm actually going to mar uh, block off so that there's no ink that goes across the dates. And to do that, I'm going to do a hole punch. I think this size will cover it enough, but I'm going to double check that. I'm just going to punch from just a piece of copy paper just to see if that'll be, oh yeah, that'll be perfect. Uh, this is the medium size uh, hole punch, Fisker squeeze punch. I love these little squeeze punches. So I'm just going to end up blocking off those areas. Okay, and I'm going to use some of these different banners for this section. These are a little bit bigger, but I think they'll look super cute. All right, so let me see. How do I want to... I think I want to do these little... Hmm, I want to do the bigger ones or the little triangles. I think I'm going to do the little triangles intermixed with the bigger ones. So I think I'm going to do some of that some of this stripe and some of I think some of the, the, the heart mixed in in between each one of the bigger flags and I think that will look super cute. Okay so for this I'm going to actually alternate between these um, actually let's see how big they are. I think I will alternate those. I want to get a third color in here. I think I want to mix in a little bit of a lime green. Actually, I'm going to see how this green looks. I think that might be a little too kind of celery green. Actually, I like that. I think that will look pretty with it. It'll look very springy. So I'm going to include this one in the mix. All right, let me just get started. We'll see what happens. So I think actually I will start with the stripes on this green. And again, I'm just going to stamp it on a piece of scratch paper to see how it looks. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm just going to make sure those little circles are over my stamped areas and then start stamping away. And how do I want to do this? Because I'm going to have three pieces to consider. So let me put this on here and I'm going to do this one in the purple. Hmm. That's actually, I'm going to end up losing most of it there. If I stamp, and I'm just going to do it, and then I'll figure it out as I go. So that's those. And then I'm just going to end up using this lid. And I think I'll go this direction so it's as straight as possible. And I'm going to do this one in pink. Right, so you can see how that will end up looking. Kind of cute. Ah, oh, that's going to be impossible. I'm going to try it with my fingers. And that didn't come out perfect, but I'm okay with that. I liked um, last time using the little flowers to mark off the times, since the those specific times don't line up with what how I use my calendar. So I'm actually going to use this little heart. I think I'll use the pink. 
And I feel like doing four time chunks. That's what I had last week and it worked perfect. So I'm going to do the same for this week. All right, that works for me. And then I'm going to scooch that over to the opposite edge. All right, love it. And like I said, Wednesday is my baby's birthday. And I wanted to put a balloon stamp. So again, going back to some super old stamps. It's going to look so cute. I'm just going to do one and I'm going to stamp it, even if it might get written over. I'm going to do one and I'm actually going to do the multicolor on it. I think that'll look super pretty. I love that these inks are not going through. This is such nice quality paper. All right, so I'm going to try and just go for it here. I think that's going to look so pretty. All right, here we go. Oh, so pretty. Cute, cute. All right, I like that. I don't know if you can hear it, but she, my baby that is having a birthday this week is taking a shower and just singing her little heart out. <laughs> she cracks me up like every day. She's a nut. <laughs> All right. So I'll end up putting a little bit of washi tape here, and then I'm going to put some strips here to call out what my different activities. Last week I did um, to do, blog, to do, photos, and to do, and I really liked having that. Um, and then I did some extra other to do's on this edge. Um, so all in all, I think I'm going to keep with the same similar format, just kind of mixing up my color palette and. Um, I am going to change these a tiny bit. I had left Saturday and Sunday open. I think I'm still going to leave Sunday open, but on Saturday, I think I'm going to make that, um, I'm going to do uh, to do's blog, to do photos, and then to do and um, for my shops for Etsy and Society6. I think I'm going to add a column there. And it's just really to help me with some different ideas and kind of corral what I need to do if I have, um, orders coming in or if I had ideas that are inspiring me to do uh, some different projects. So last time, let's see, what did I use last time? The bows? No, I used this crosshatch and I like that, but I think I wanted to do something a little bit different this week. I'm looking at another stamp set. I don't know if, yeah, that arrow is too big. I was thinking that might work for me, but no. I think what I'll do is I'm gonna, um, just the same way that I did the little hole punches up here to block off space, I think I'm gonna do the same in this area to block off above and below and to only, um, actually I only need one. If I mark off below, it won't go beyond that line in order to do some stamping. I'm just gonna cut a chunk of this to use. And since this top edge is straight, I don't need to worry if I cut the bottom line crooked. So I think I'm gonna line it up there and then I'll just make sure that the top doesn't go across it. But I think I'm going to use um, these little polka dots. And actually, I am going to mark off the top so I don't go over just in case. I just took another piece and I took the straight side. And I'm just going to leave that one as is. So I will have those spaces to work with for my stamping. And these might shift a little bit when I lift up my stamp, 
that's okay. I'll just be sure to go back in and fix it before I move on to the next um, to the next color. So on these, since I already have some of that pink there, I'm going to go with that same pink in those spots. I'm just making sure to just stay in that one pink color. Although I think it would probably look pretty if I did go across some of the other colors. Um, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Oh, dang it. I don't like when that happens. All right, let's try that again. Although my dots probably aren't going to line up. Nope, still missed it. All right, it is what it is. I'm just going to roll with it. And I'll have words going over it anyway, so that's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to relocate this and move it so it's lower on my block and see if that helps at all. I just realized the edges are going to go off as well. All right, let's cut some more strips. Just to be able to block off those sides. All right. And that should do it. Hopefully this time it goes all the way through. We don't have any blank spots. Oh, much better. Alrighty. And then we'll do Friday as well in that same palette. Block that side and the bottom. All right. And that's going to come right close to the edge. So I'm going to move this as close to the edge as possible. And juice it up again. Not super happy with that. Let's see if I can get more color on there. Oh, I got a little bit more. All right, that'll work. I'm good with that. So now we're going to come back to this side and do a different color palette. I'm going to do the green this round. And once I clean it, the wipes that I use are the Huggies. Um, I think they're cucumber, cucumber tea or something like that. They smell so yummy. But after um, I stamp them, they get pretty wet. So I make sure if I'm using that stamp again right away, stamp it off to take off some of that moisture. Okay, so those I will set aside and I'm coming back for this green. And this is First, the magic and the color is, ooh, it doesn't say, it just says GD080. So I don't know what, is it on the bottom? Nope, I don't see a color name. I might be totally missing it. Okay, that's looking good. So what I did last time is I did the phone for some phone calls that I needed to make. I used the, did I use the house? No, the envelope for shipments. Yes. I used the house actually down here for house chores. And I grabbed the envelope. And I was really wishing I had a car um, for specific errands I needed to do. Um, but I think I'm going to use the geo sign since that's going to be on location. So um, lots of time there's, you know, there's errands returns, there's shopping that needs to be done, there's um, library books that need to be returned, that kind of fun stuff. So I think this is how I'm going to break these down. And that should be a fun little look there. And I'm just going to go with the same colors. So I'll end up putting the house down here. I think I'm actually going to put the house 
here, and I ended up using another fun old stamp for, for meals. So I think I'm going to put that one over here once I get to it. And then the other one that I saw on this that I really liked was uh, a favorite memory. And especially considering that Wednesday is my baby's birthday, I think what I'm going to do is add this to, um, I think I'm going to add it to Sunday and just jot down some of our favorite memories from the week. And that usually, that kind of stuff ends up helping me when I'm um, scrapbooking or when I'm putting together some different um, memory item stuff. So I think that both of those will work. So I'm going to set those aside and do those in just a second. I'm going to stamp these off and I think I'm going to do them all just in one, the same color. I'm going to do them all in this pretty green. And where is my block? It's the, I did see a really cool video that somebody put washi tape around their clear blocks so that they don't lose them as much. And I've been considering doing that. I haven't done it yet, but I thought it was a pretty brilliant idea. All right, so there is my phone. And the color palette I used last week, um, again, if you did catch that video, it looked super neon in the video after I went back and, and saw that. It's, those colors weren't as neon-y as they look. Um, and that was a different Versamagic set. I'm going to add the envelope right there. And the geotag. Can go right here. Okay. Doing lots of stamping today. I like that. This is fun. Okay, for down here, I think I'm going to do the house. I'm going to do the purples for both the house and the um, memories and the food stamps. I'm just going to put the house here. Cute little house. These are from an old Avery L set. All of the, the house, the phone, the envelope, the geotag. It's part of this set that I used last week. And I don't see a name on it. I don't know why some manufacturers do that. I think it would be very helpful to include the names on there. But, um, but they didn't, so it is what it is. All right, and then the other ones that I wanted to use is the This Is Delicious. I'm gonna do this one again in the purple. So I'm just gonna turn my stamp and just keep in that one purple strip, which on the edge ones, it's fine, it's easy to do. So I just got pretty lucky using using uh, the edge colors on this palette. But I do like kind of the rainbow look or the, yeah, I guess rainbow. I don't know. That look <laughs> on the balloons. I think that turned out cute. All right, and I'm just going to add this stamp here. All right. I didn't get as much ink as the, on the fork and knife as I should have. But again, I'm, I'm totally fine with that. And then the last one I wanted to do is a favorite memory. I'm going to add that just here and we'll fill it in for Sunday. I'm not going to put any time appointments. Um, we're... We're done with faith formation until the fall. So even though we'll be definitely going to church, it'll be nice to just leave that open and not set um, appointments and just make it family time on Sunday. Okay. So actually, you know what? I think I'll put it right here in the middle and kind of continue that stripe area. OK. 
cute. All right, I like it. One of the things I did yesterday, I fiddled with my silhouette. I mentioned last week as well that I hadn't figured out how to make stickers yet. Um, so the good news is I figured out how to make the stickers um, using both Photoshop and Silhouette. Um, the bad news is I didn't figure out how to set the machine so it doesn't cut all the way through. It ended up, I'll show you. Ta-da! They were totally cute, right? But it cut all the way through. So I lifted the, the sheet and all of these got stuck. But I am going to be using these on this week's palette. That's why I am showing you. So I'm just going to start lifting some of these. Eventually I will figure out how to set the machine so it doesn't take it all the way off. And I did um, use the same color palette from my friend Margareta. Um, she did, we were both part of a bundle earlier this year, um, earlier this month actually. And she had this gorgeous color palette of printables. And I ended up using that same color palette to make all of these. One of the, one of the items part as part of the rainbow pack, the, the, uh, the pink and then the, she calls this one green. There's a different green that's a lime green, but this one is kind of more of an ocean color, which I thought would go great with the color that's automatically included in the uh, Inkwell Press Planner. All right, so these are the colors I'm going to use for the week. So let me go ahead and add these. And this is where I'm going to be doing my, my to-dos. sure it'll be a lot easier when I actually have them stuck onto the sheet instead of this, <laughs> these tiny little pieces. This is little bananas. Ooh, that looks pretty. I'm liking this. Okay, so I found my alphas, and then I also found the color palette that I used last week in case you were curious it was fruit cocktail and like I said it looked really neon in the video but it's it's really not that crazy and then um was I gonna say another color palette oh yeah what these are from these are from oh and here's another one it doesn't say the name of it hmm yeah sorry I thought it would have said the name of the the uh set but it doesn't but it's this one. They're really kind of pastel-y looking. But that green is really pretty. I really like it. Okay, so now I just grab these alphas. I love this set, as I've mentioned before. They're nice skinny letters, easy, super easy to work with. All right, so I'm gonna grab a black. Black stays on, it's jet black, and that stamps nicely on here. I think I'm ready for another one. This is starting to look really uh, at times that I just don't get a very dark impression. Yeah, that W is really light, but that's okay. I will know what it says, and I probably shouldn't have done that dark purple up there. I should have probably done the pink and green, but I will know for next time. So I'm going to put, you know, put that up there for now. Yeah, on that pink, it looks a lot better. That purple's a little hard to see it against, but that's okay. It's pretty obvious that it's the weekend. So that's marked off. And for these sections, I think I'm actually going to use the same now that I think about it. I think that'll show up nicely. And what, again, what I really love about this set is that they, it has so many letters that I will be able to stamp out the whole word at a time. At once, I mean, that didn't make that didn't sound like very proper English, did it? <laughs> so I'm going to use the T, the D, and two O's. I think this is the only set that I have that has repeat letters, and it is fantastic having that option. 
Oh, I just realized, I wonder if these are gonna, this is gonna be too tall for my sectioning. We shall see. Ooh, yeah, that is tall. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Instead, what I'm going to do is use some uh, different alphas that I have. I won't be able to st stamp the word all at once, but that's okay. But I'm not going to like that those letters overlap so much because that is this is prime real estate for me. My to-dos and all of that really is what keeps me on track. So I don't want to jump into that space. Although this would be super cute. I'm sure it would look lovely. All right, so I'm just gonna put these away. As I've mentioned before, I've lost alphas. Not my my not my happiest moment. So I like putting these away, and that way nothing gets lost. All right, I'm grab another set of alphas. So I don't even know if I've used these all. I'm gonna pull out the whole set because sometimes the the bottoms get stuck on the ones that haven't been used yet. So I'm gonna grab the O. Yeah, that one was stuck. And the D. And the T, I think, is in the other part I already took out. Yep, there it is. All right. So I will start with my to-dos. And this is just going to be a big jumbled mess. I will fix that after. Make sure you can see I already got it on the edge. I'm going to clean that off because I know it'll end up all over my planner. Ooh. I'm just going to try and go straight down and not move it around too much. Although, well, we'll see. All right, so to do, to do, to do. I'm going to go ahead and do it on all of these. And then my O, and then I'll come back to my O, but let me get my do in there, my D, and then back to the O. Cute. All right, and now I need blog. All right, so to do blog, to do photos. Okay, and I think I will end up having all of the other letters for shots. And I'm just going to finish this off, adding these bits and pieces. I like adding these just to this bottom section of each day. It's kind of a small spot as it is, so it fits perfectly in that bottom portion. I guess I hadn't thought about it. I guess I could probably just make it one long strip. So it goes all the way across since it does, they do butt up against each other. That just kind of popped in my head right now. Seeing that I'm not aligning them perfectly, might be easier to do it in one long strip. So I will keep that in mind for next, next round of stickers that I make. I do like that. All right, yeah, totally like that. So pretty. The other thing I wanted to add is from the Heidi Swap um, little stickers from this little set here. Again, I don't know the name, but I just wanted to stamp happy birthday on my baby's actual birthday. And I'm going to do this one in that purple rainbow color. There it is. And I do think I am going to do the uh, the purples. I'm actually going to go at an angle. All right, I'm going to put that right here. Oh, that looks pretty. 
and then happy. I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to do with the different pinks. Oh, cute. I like it. I like it. And now what I'm going to do is just fill in some of my items for the week. So with these stickers, the other items that I made are these cute little, I don't know if you can see them, let's see. So you can see uh, Mom's Night Out, Ride, Learn, Date, Party, and then along with Blog um, and Video. So just a couple of different ones that I um, wanted to start incorporating. So we actually have a mom's night out for our brownie moms. Um, oops, I'm trying to get that in focus. We have a mom's night out on Saturday night, so I'm super excited for that. We have an awesome group of uh, girls in my daughter's brownie troop, and they're absolute sweethearts. And we're actually doing um, a mom's night out this night. So actually, I don't even know if I, I don't think I have the details yet, but I know it is definitely this night. We've had it lined up for a while. So I'm going to pop that one in there. And the other item I wanted to put on there is the different dates. I need to have some blog and video stuff go. I'll add my meal planning. It's going to be thrown off. Well, actually not thrown off too, too much. I, my baby already told me she wants, um, breakfast for her birthday dinner. <laughs> so I will add that on here. All right. And then weekends, I don't do any cooking. <laughs> weekends I have off completely. Um, we either will eat leftovers or my husband will make something on the weekends or more times than not, we'll, we'll just eat out. So anyway, I think that does it for the week. I hope you've enjoyed planning with me. And if there's any questions that you have, feel free to leave them in the comments or on my blog over at clickychickcreates.com. And I really hope you enjoy this. If you do, definitely leave me a thumbs up and let me know that you do enjoy it. And I will keep leading these videos. Um, if not, I will go on to some of my other crafty endeavors. All right. Thanks so much. Have a beautiful day.